excited to participate in this book launch for your wonderful book, Celebrating Dennis Edwards, such a great, and wonderful friend and colleague and, and um, priest, uh, and just all around a wonderful person. Dennis uh, spent a sabbatic here at the GTU back in 1990, gee, <laughs> 30 years ago. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and he was an enthusiastic participant in the ongoing CTNS program. Um, Ted and I initiated a new course on the Trinity for our doctoral and seminary students that, that fall. <clears throat> and Dennis was an active participant. Um, he had a rare combination of a scholar's care for clarity and a priest's passion to communicate God's grace. Uh, and he brought to the conversation a resource I don't know that much about at the time, Bonaventure. Uh, that was one of his favorite um, classic theologians. Uh, and it really, to, in my experience, really uh, enriched the subject uh, tremendously. Uh, it was in some ways focused on Barth's Trinitarian theology um, and Dennis was remarkable. You know, he's a, you know, a Catholic scholar, but he had a, a wonderful appreciation for Bart and engaged uh, in Bart's approach to the Trinity um, in a critical way, very, very helpfully. He and I would spend leisurely afternoons in my office or having a stroll uh, and, and talk about uh, the Australian context of the field, especially God the, his, from his, his Catholic perspective. Um, Dennis participated in two of our five international conferences organized by the Vatican Observatory and CTNS. Um, one was on chaos and complexity. Um, these are scientific perspectives on divine action with science topics. One was on chaos and complexity. And he wrote, let me check the title here, The Discovery of Chaos and the Retrieval of the Trinity, a, a marvelous um, essay. He also participated in the third conference on evolutionary and molecular biology and his title here was <clears throat> Original Sin and Saving Grace in an Evolutionary Context. Uh, and if folks want to see I, the summary that I wrote of all the articles, there were, what, 90 chapters and five volume, uh, 50, 52 scholars and five volumes. You can look on our website under the ctns.org books and find the summary. <clears throat> I, I feel that Dennis's work has had a lasting impact on the field, especially his work on Niels Gregerson's Deep Incarnation. Um, and he shared a passion that I share for taking eschatology seriously and taking the challenge of science seriously, um, Big Bang cosmology, <clears throat> in his way that it seems a challenge maybe even under, undercut Christian eschatology of a new creation. And he and I spent a lot of time uh, in various conferences talking about that topic. Um, so I just appreciate him tremendously, will miss him tremendously in an extraordinary, yet clear and gentle manner. Um, I would say he had wry humor and a contagious smile, which were worth the world to experience. So I will miss you, Dennis, and I pray that God guides you into the heaven of the new creation. <laughs>